la luz de Dios, caminando en la luz de Dios, caminando en la luz de Dios, caminando en la luz de Dios, caminando, caminando. This time, like you mean, there you go. Now, in the love of Jesus, we are going to the light of Jesus. We are marching in the light of God. 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 We are marching. We are marching. We are marching. We are marching in the light of God. We are marching. We are standing on the side of love. 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 We are standing. We are walking. We are walking on the side of love. On the side of love. We are walking on the side of love. We are walking on the side of love. We are walking on the side of love. We are rolling 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 on the side of love. Para mí, para el pueblo. Right now, I have the honor of introducing two of the most inspirational people in my life and in the life of many here in Arizona and all across the nation. I present to you Carlos Garcia from Puente and Reverend Susan Frederick. <laughs> Y'all look beautiful. Welcome to Phoenix. I just got back from, I just went, a, went on a tour through Tent City with Sheriff Arpaio, and I can't tell you how much better it feels to be out here with all of you and all your candles, put them up and look so <laughs> Here in Arizona, this culture of cruelty that's been going on for 20 years at Tent City has been the breeding ground that's allowed 1070 to happen and a culture of cruelty aimed at neighbors, aimed at communities, aimed at families, and only love has the power to overcome that fear and to overcome, to overcome that cruelty. And we are standing on the side of love, we are living in the circle of love, and we are gonna push that boulder 
up that mountain and we are going to create a new day for Arizona, a new day for the United States. Buenas noches a todos, good night everyone. Um, this is beautiful to see for years, for 20 years now, suffering has been happening about 100 yards from here. And there's still suffering going on today. But the sacrifice you're making, the sacrifice of being out here, I know it's hot, I know it's taken a lot. A lot of you come from different places, how to make expenses, need family to come here. It's just a little bit of what our communities go through every day. So thank you for being here. Oh, so from the bottom of our hearts, our community thanks you, and this makes all the difference in the world. So thank you so much. And uh, remember that, that this is going to change Arizona forever, and that we're going to shut Ten City down. Thank you. was passed, he called me, he said, I'm coming to Arizona. And you brought the Unitarian Universalist with you. The Reverend Peter Morales, President of the Unitarian Universalist Association. Buenas <laughs> noches. Susan and I and Bill Schultz and Joffrey Black and Maria Inojosa and uh, Leslie Takahashi Morris. Did I leave anybody out? We just went through a, a tour. Just went through a tour, as she said, of Tent City. It is the kind of sight I would expect to see only in a fascist country. In a military state. And the sad thing is that this is going to be a long struggle. Hold hold those lights up one more time. Those lights have to go back to Alabama and Missouri and Massachusetts and Oregon and California. And, and everywhere in between. The key is now that you have seen what you have seen, that we have seen what we have seen, learned what we are learning now. We have to take it home. We have to build coalitions at home. We have to turn this around. I am angry, but even more than angry, I am so sad that this can exist in my country today. Bear witness as religious people. Bear witness. Thank you so much. Take this with you. I now want to introduce uh, the Reverend Jeffrey Black, president of a denomination bigger than ours. He's been so good to come with some of his staff. He went on a tour with us. He's a champion as we are. The UCC is a champion for compassion and human rights. The Reverend Jeffrey Black. I want you to know that when I look out on this crowd, I get pumped. And, and, and I need to get closer to the mic, they tell me. But I get pumped. And that, that just gives fire to my spirit of being persistent. 
I want to tell you some things about how change comes about. Not that you don't already know it, but just to remind you about how change happens. Change does not happen overnight. People have to be persistent. We have to come back again and again and again because there's a man in that prison who is in our face saying he doesn't care that we're here, that his story is stronger and more powerful than ours. And as my colleague just reminded you, we need to take this message throughout the nation because what we're looking at in that prison is a national disgrace. And we should all be ashamed. So I'm urging you tonight, take the fire, take the light, take it every place you go, and let people know what is going on in their name, in their country, that human rights are being violated in gross ways, and that we cannot stand by. We know what happens when people stand by and say we didn't know what's going on. We have a history of that that we can recall and we know that what needs to happen if we're going to stop it. And that means that every one of us has to make this a personal issue. A personal issue. Knowing that there are people in that prison that are being treated like dogs, but they are our sisters and brothers. They're being treated worse than animals. They are our sisters and brothers. That's a contradiction that we cannot allow to continue. So I urge you to find the allies. You found one in me and the United Church of Christ. We are going to stand with you and we will join you. When you come back, we're coming back with you. And, when, and the only thing I'll say is that there's a sea of yellow shirts out there tonight. When we come with you, there will be an ocean of red shirts with you. Tonight. We are so not alone in this struggle. I want to introduce now the Reverend Dr. Warren Stewart, who's pastor of the First Institutional Baptist Church in Phoenix and chair of the Home Mission Board of the National Baptist Convention. He also chairs the Board of National Immigration Forum. He's widely recognized by others as a man of conscience, commitment, and dedication to the cause of moral leadership, human rights, and a soldier of justice and equity. Dr. Stewart. Thank you, Mr. President. Are there any soldiers of justice out there? Let me hear the soldiers of justice out there. On behalf of all of us in the Valley of the Sun, we thank you for coming to pick up and share our cause for justice. To paraphrase a two-term former president who made a statement nearly 25 years ago this month, Sheriff Joe, Sheriff Joe, tear down Kent City! Tear down Kent City! Tear down Kent City! Tear down Kent City! And, and if Sheriff Joe will not tear it down, President Obama, tear down Tent City! Let me share something else with you. Just a few blocks down the street is the Maricopa County Animal Shelter. No animals in that shelter are forced to stay outside in 110 degrees Arizona heat. They are all kept in permanent housing with air conditioning. Why Sheriff Joe? Why Sheriff Joe? 
Why are you here and take pride in Tent City, which has been and always been an ungodly, inhumane, unjust display of your insatiable arrogance? It's all about you and nobody else. You regretfully remind us of a scripture in the Bible in Revelation 22, 15 that says, Outside the city are the dogs and all who love to live a lie. Sheriff Joe, for 20 years, your reign of error and reign of terror have been nothing but living a lie. You have lived a lie of professional policing. You have lived a lie of keeping the peace. You have lived a lie of ensuring liberty and justice in Maricopa County. And to my brothers and sisters in Tent City, let, the, let our brothers and sisters hear a big yell for them in Tent City. Let them know that we're with them out here. Let them know that we're with them out here. Come on, come on. Wrap it up. Let them know that we're here. sisters who are jailed in Tent City, red, yellow, black, brown, and white, we are all precious in God's sight. And we are with you in spirit. We are with you in love. We are with you in peace. We are with you in hope. We are with you in justice. We are with you in protest on this night. For you see, as Jesus Christ said in Matthew 25, when they asked him the righteous, when he commended them for, for and told them to go to the right, they asked, when did we feed the hungry? When did we clothe the naked? When did we visit the sick? When did we comfort those in prison? And Jesus said, you did it when you did it to the least of these, my brothers and sisters, over in Tent City. We are with you. We are with you. And God is with you. Somos Coney Spanish. Somos Coney Spanish. He deals as Coney Spanish. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We are with you. 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 My friends, we are with you. You're making this Arizona night even hotter. Please. We have water for you. Make sure you drink it while you're here with us tonight. President Morales, thank you. Reverend Black, thank you. Pastor Stewart, thank you. Because you're not just standing with the people inside these tents. You're standing with the people who are afraid they'll be inside those tents. You're standing with the people who are losing the fear, gaining the courage, and refusing to live in the shadows that this man casts on a daily basis. So thank you.